Hey everyone, today we're going to find perimeter around a shape that has um, square units inside of it instead of being given the side lengths. Um, it's pretty similar to how I added up perimeter last time. I'm going to find a corner to start in, put my dot so I know that I've started here, I'm going to go around it clockwise and I'm going to end here to make sure I get all of my sides added up and figured out the right way. So when we do this, each one of these little sides is one unit. So this would be one, and this would be a second one. So I'm going to put two up here. This, I come down to here, one, two. Right here is one, down, one. When I do this, it's one, two, three. One, two, three for my last side. So I've gone around my whole shape. Um, and I've written all the sides. I made it all the way around. So now I'm going to go through and write those down and add them up. So I have two to start off with, two for my next one. Then I have one. I have another one. Then I have my three. And I have my last one, one more three. So when I do this, I'm going to look for friendly numbers again that add up to something that's easy to work with. Um, I don't have any that right away add up to 10, so I want to go by fives this time. So right away I see these two would be five, and I see these two would be another five, and then these are left and they add up to be two. So when I add this up, I know two, two fives make a 10, and 10 plus two is 12. So if I drew it out a little more, it would be these two are 10 plus two equals 12, and so for my label this time, these are square units. So that means each one of these sides on this unit is equal and it's a square. So we're going to label it, label it as square units for the perimeter. All right, I'm going to do one more for you so you have a second example. Okay, so here is our second shape. I'm going to go through the same process that I did the first one. First, I'm going to find the lengths of the sides and write them in, and then I'm going to add up the sides. So I'm going to start right up here, put my dot. This would have two. This one right here would be one. And when I do these ones that are going to be connected like this, I try to keep it as close to the side that I'm labeling as possible um, so that I have room to write this next one. So this next one will be one, two. One, two, one, two. So like for this one, I scooted it over so I would have room right here for this one. This going down is just one. One, two, three. This one way over here is one. This one right here is just one. And then one, two, three to finish it off. So as I go around again, I'm just gonna write all of them out and then I'm gonna group them in friendly numbers again. So starting here, I have two plus one another two plus another two plus one more two plus another one I have three I have one I have another one and then finally I have a three so I know that it looks like it takes a long time to write all of this out but since we're kind of just starting with all of this I want to make sure that I don't miss any sides. And so if I group them together starting out too early, it's really likely that I'll miss some sides and my perimeter won't be accurate. So I've just made sure I write everything out. And then I look for my friendly numbers. So right here I have three and a two, three and a two, and I have one, two, three ones and a two. And as I look through, I have these ones left over here and that would be three. So 5, 10, 15 plus 3, I know is 18. And I'm going to go ahead and label this as square units. All right. Good luck with finding your perimeters using square units.